ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम तस्म श्री गुरव नम तस्म श्री गुरव we have to as an empirical being as a gross being as an individual with a body why you use the word individual body individual without body is called ghost that's why i said individual with body ha <laughs> huh? so individual with body our purpose is not to nidra aahar maithunam alasya cha sleep procrastinate copulate produce children and uh, be lazy this is not our purpose that animals also do then what is what is our purpose our purpose is only one expand your consciousness this opportunity is available only to the human realm and what is expansion of consciousness life is continuously if you observe your life from childhood you became a teenager expanded consciousness more experiences more studies more uh, knowledge then you became youth even more even more vigor and vitality and uh, uh, big ideas then you continued expanding then from one you became two husband and wife then from two you became two three or four or five children expanded consciousness you are learning to include more and more people in your life first it was knowledge now you are including the world world of someone you did not know you have included them into your life with their all baggage baggage is that person's father mother uncle aunties brother sisters so you are who you are in reference to that reference is expanding into the definition of uh, my father in law my mother in law my wife my children my uh, uh, grandchildren so that my means i which has included someone in with it that becomes my so this is expansion life is pushing you naturally it is taking place but we limit it only to a particular uh limit we don't go beyond it and what is going beyond it <coughs> the prime minister modi when he says i only work for the country i don't want anything from the country that is expanded consciousness he is identified with the whole country and that country is not just land with its resources it is also people land with its resources has got no meaning if there are uh, if the people are not there so it is for the benefit of the people that he is continuously working towards a saint or a sage also does the same thing but not as a prime minister gandhi ji did the 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 fasting and all that for the purpose of freedom of the country for, for the freedom how can you free the land land doesn't know if it is free or it is bound it is the people living on the land who are free or bound isn't it when he was asked when raman maharishi was asked why don't you jump into the freedom struggle 
He says, I am also on the freedom struggle. How come? No, I teach people how to be free of I. Gandhiji was teaching people how to be free of Britishers. Ramana Maharishi was teaching how to be free from I. That is ultimate. So there are two ways. Either you become free of I thought, complete ego, or you make your ego so big that it doesn't stop at your relations and positions. It expands to include more and more and more and more and more and more and more where you know, don't know how to include the entire you vanish <laughs> you vanish so either you follow the unway mark which is all inclusiveness or you follow the neti neti mark which is exclusiveness both ways you will come to the expanded self. These are just terms, expanded self. But as an individual, our attention must be on expansion of our, uh, of our, self, of our consciousness. And that is only possible when we do not react, then we do not desire too much when we feel oneness with even a small animal small insects trees people we are ready to cry in front of god we are ready to spend so much time chant hanuman chalisa in front of a statue but we are not ready to uh, have empathy towards a human being that is contracted consciousness. Contracted consciousness is called ego. Contracted or uh, crystallized consciousness is called ego. Crystallized or contracted water is called ice. It is uncomfortable everywhere. Ice cube, it makes noise in any pot. Water, it doesn't make any noise. It, is, it takes the shape of the pot, <laughs> any pot. So are we like that, that in any situation life presents to us, we are absolutely comfortable? Or are we like an ice cube, uncomfortable even in the most wonderful situations? This expansion of consciousness Either we see the entire universe, creation, and our creation is waking dream, deep sleep, samadhi. We see it as expression, expansion of the one infinite reality, the one infinite reality desired, it is called Shiva and Shakti, Shakti multiplies or ex manifests as Sattva Rajas Tamas, consciousness expressing through that Sattva Rajas Tamas, unmanifest, subtle manifest is called as Hiranyagarbha. Then the five elements are created and the whole cosmic, the Virat Purush, the Narayana with the form comes about. Ishwara with form. In him, in him is the Samashti and the Vyashti. In him, the totality and the individuality is imagined. Or he alone 
expresses as the totality which is includes included within him and he alone expresses as the individuality which is included in him now it is not many individuality there is only one it is the phenomena of consciousness expressing through body is called consci- is called uh, uh, individual is called jiva there is only one jiva you are thinking one jiva is speaking to me i am the another jiva there are other people listening to it to uh, to the lecture so this idea of manyness in ishwara dwayvad from naneshwara's uh, angle of approach anvaya approach all inclusiveness is made null and void there is no all variety can only be imagined there is only one keep thinking about this again and again and again and again and one day it will click how one alone became two two alone became three three alone became the many so just as in you husband wife and brother sister are imagined personality similarly in the virat purush in the total person in the total cosmic person the entire variety of creation is only imagined there is no creation outside the virat purush there is no wave outside the water there is no gold outside the there is no ornament outside the gold similarly creation is not outside of the jiva if you take yourself to be the jiva you and the virat purush are one and the same but you think there is waking a creation there is dream creation there is deep sleep they are only imagined a projection of your mind you have to come to the conscious principle right now dream is bad deep sleep is fantastic waking is too much hard work friend expanded consciousness will be taking the position of the virat purush all inclusiveness i support the waking dream deep sleep but not affected by the waking dream deep sleep i am untouched by waking dream and deep sleep when i say in untouched by waking dream means all the events taking place in the waking and dream also then you have come to the expanded consciousness so this is from top to bottom now how do you go from bottom to top no no i am this body i don't know how to then lagero then do yama niyama asana pranayam pratyahar dharana dhyan samadhi or you go through mooladhar swadishthan manipur anahar vishuddhi chakra agya chakra sahasrar so as you go through the various chakras mooladhar expanded is called swadishthan because when you give up your body identification you start moving higher your your crystallization of your consciousness is melting when it starts melting then alone the upward journey will begin from mooladhar to swadishthan to manipur and so on for that we have to correctly interact with the world 
in, on one hand and on the other hand be fired up with this idea that I am that pure absolute being. I don't know it at this moment but I am ready to do what, ready to move in that direction. And, and when we practice these two, top to bottom or bottom to top, neti neti or anvaya, conclusion is one. There is only one without a second reality, pure consciousness that I am and there is nothing else. What does it mean? What does it signify? It signifies the phenomena of Jeev Jagat Ishwar, the phenomena of individuality, totality and the world. All is the self. Self alone is the out of the self alone individuality is projected. Out of the self alone the totality Brahma, Vishnu, Mahesh they are projected. And out of the self alone the whole world is projected. So self is all all but we have individual has created God is above the clouds God is somewhere far away and the world ah, greed for the world possess, 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 possess you are the material in essence which is pure consciousness that has gone into making the world gone into making the jiva gone into making the god and who is the maker you alone are the maker in essence he doesn't the essence doesn't say i made it we are using those words this will become a saint's disposition wherein He is abiding in the self in spite of everything, ever in communion with all the jivas, all the individuals, all the people, in communion with all the gods, all the potentialities. And knowing without a thought that not only all the jivas and all the gods but also the inert world is nothing but the self. He cannot have any other experience. Why? Because there is no otherness for a saint. From the self point of view everything is self. There is no difference, there is no sense of otherness which is commonplace for you and me. That's why I am talking, you are listening. Saint also talks, but he talks to himself. It's a phenomena which is going on. So in this manner, Better, rather than do the hard yaka, hard work of going from individual to total and beyond, take the ultimate position which Jnaneshwar Maharaj is showing us. And the position is acceptance. The acceptance that the pure consciousness that the self is is 
is all inclusive it requires continuous contemplation how the pure consciousness is pervading the world pervading the jagat the world pervading or i am i am pervading all the people wow that is too much responsibility man no 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 don't get into responsibility don't get into emotional understand the principle one in all all in one that i am. 